move. Let me adjust you just a bit. Hello and welcome. Um, today I'm going to show you how to make your own version of a Reese's Cup. If you're like me and you live in a rural area where the closest store is a light 25 miles away and the stores that are close like it's convenient or can like convenience stores and close about seven eight at night so if you have a late night hunkering for something sweet and you don't have like any candy bars on hand I wanted to show you Let me get my ingredients over here. There we go. There we go. I wanted to show you a easy way making your own form of a Reese's cup. Um, you'll need peanut butter. Does not have to be this brand. Just has to be peanut butter. You can use chunky um, if you want a, cr a crunchy. Um, peanut butter like cup. Um, I'm using this one because I like the creamy. Um, you'll need butter. The recipe calls for two sticks of butter but I'm not making quite as many as the recipe is for so I've just got about a half a stick of butter because I'm only making this for me. Um, powdered sugar. This calls for a box. I'm not even going to use that much of this one. Um, if you want white Reese's cups, you'll need the white um, chips. If you want milk chocolate Reese's cups, you'll need the milk chocolate chips. And if you want the dark chocolate one, you can also buy like dark chocolate chips. They do not have to be the Nestle's brand. They do have a brand at the Dollar Tree of these that you can buy. They have a brand of pet butter, so you can get all of this at the Dollar Tree if you want. Um, I'm just working with what's on hand at our house. Um, you put your chocolate aside because we don't need that right this second. Um, and first, we're going to do a cup of this peanut butter. This half a stick of butter. I'm trying it in my head. And I would say about a cup to a cup and a half of this. Maybe less. But on the actual if you want to make this where it makes, um, we don't really say how many this makes, but you want to make a, like a whole bunch, like you have family members or something, the actual recipe says two sticks of butter, one and a half, one and a third cups of peanut butter, one box of powdered sugar. They have graham crackers, which I'm not going to use, vanilla uh, flavoring two bags of chocolate chips but I'm not using all of that I'm just going to use the simple down version where you just have to have sugar butter peanut butter and vanilla flavoring which I don't really know where's at one minute Totally forgot about the flavoring. Vanilla flavoring. Um, you also can get that at the Dollar Tree as well. 
Um, so, let me get a bow. Like we said, I'm not going to do exactly as this recipe is saying because I don't want as many as the recipe is for. I just want a couple for myself to eat because I've just been craving chocolate lately and really really just want some chocolate but the butter is at room temperature so we'll throw it in there and I know a cup like this is not necessarily a measurement into a regular cup and powdered stuff does not measure like other stuff but I'm just putting one cup I'm going to eyeball it if it doesn't look completely right I will add more but for right now that's what is going to be added and same thing with the peanut butter. I'm just going to eyeball it. Because I'm not making enough for a whole family. I'm just making enough for me myself. Then you work that all together. So you don't see any more powdered sugar a little bit see it says a tablespoon a teaspoon and you just work that together I'm going to tilt you down hoping that you can see the bowl you see you just work it like you would dough until you don't see any powdered sugar left. And you mash the butter in, in it really good. So there's not like big chunks of butter. When you get to the point where there's no powdered sugar, um, you can't see any powdered sugar. Like just a little powdered sugar. Get on it. Rub it on your hands. Dig the rest of the peanut butter off. And kind of knead it a little bit like you would actual dough. If it starts sticking on your hands like this, just sprinkle a little bit more powdered sugar on there like you would flour the dough and work it like you would dough. This is to get all of the butter. See like that's a chunk of butter right there. This is to get that butter worked into the actual thing. Just keep putting powdered sugar when you start feeling sticky and you want to get it in a good round ball but also make sure all your butter is worked into your ball and you're going to do one last coat of powdered sugar around it and then you're going to mash it down just a little and we're going to put this in the refrigerator to chill for one hour. Gotta wash my hands where I won't 
stickiness all over. Refrigerator door. Shut this chill in the freezer for one hour. Let that chill in the freezer for one hour. I will see you back when it is ready to be rolled out and um, dipped in the chocolate. So I'll see you back in a minute. Okay, now this is firmed up. We're going to take it. We're going to pinch off the little bite size. Roll them up. And put them back in the bowl. Um, you just want bite size, you don't want big chunks. While we're doing that, we're going to make this bag of chocolate. And it does have a directions to the microwaving on it somewhere. which I can't find her Melby. Um, it says 45 seconds and stir. So we're gonna open our chocolate, start the roast, and put the microwave for 45 seconds. You may hear a ding. While that is melting, I'm going to make more of these box set balls. Some people call this buckshot candy. I just call it a copycat Reese cup. Close to me, that's what it is. Let's keep doing this. Until all is made into little bite sites bites. Some may be smaller than others. But that doesn't matter. Last two. I'm gonna wash my hands. On the instructions it says get a toothpick, but I'm gonna use a fork. And you will need you will need some wax paper or parchment paper to put them down to dry. That's what the chocolate looks like so far. Going to stir for the first time. I 
I think it needs to go another round because there's still bits. Once we can stir them out. stir them out. So maybe we won't have to go another round. Okay. When you get your chocolate pretty well smooth and it's still hot enough. You take your little ball and you just roll around the chocolate around it. Coat it pretty good, then take it out with the fork and put it on your parchment paper. Do that with all of them. I'm going to get it really good coated. Put it on the parchment paper. Coat it on all sides and put it on the parchment paper. And this is why we chilled the dough where it won't fall apart. If you don't chill your dough, or your inside enough, it will come apart in this step. And you just want to coat it. the chocolate a little bit better than I did. This will coat a lot easier, but I want mine to be kind of thick. And just do it until you don't have any more chocolate in your bow. And if you've got extra little peanut butter balls, you can totally eat these without putting chocolate on them. Which I've done that as well. And then once you get them all coated, put them back in the refrigerator and let the chocolate um, harden. And you totally have your own Reese PC cup in ball form. These are already melting a little bit, so I'm going to do one more, and that's going to be it. Because the chocolate is getting where it doesn't want to work. And it's hardened up. I'm going to put the 
this in a thing. I'm going to water it. Hot water on it. Sure. And like I said, you can tell it eats these. I've got two of these left. And you can tell it eats these without the chocolate. They're still good. Even without the chocolate. I'm going to put veggies in a little Tupperware container and put them in the refrigerator. And let them sit. I should have done before rolling them out. And there we go. Greasy cups. These dishes that I've dirtied up. But these are so good. So very good. And if you're like me and you're out somewhere where you can't necessarily get to the store all the time this is a very good recipe um, to get your Reese cup fix without having to go and buying a Reese cup so good um, but this has been my version of peanut butter balls or look shot candy I will put the recipe down below if you'd like to try it yourself please do if you do try it please do come back and leave me a comment and tell me how you liked these peanut butter balls and I will see you in my next video please be kind to one another enjoy your day don't just any door endure your day um, there's always room here for another Hitting, so please do click that subscribe button give me a like if you like these cooking videos and I love you all very very much bye bye